Welcome back to the channel. Again, I'm using footage of the FTM 500 somewhere in Asia. We saw this in the last video I released. This time I'm talking about what we can gather about operating this new mobile flagship. In the announcement video, Yesu talked about the 500 not being a direct replacement of the 400. Interesting phrasing since this is a flagship replacing a discontinued flagship. I've suggested previously that this is a big design change, and I showed how it looks like a smaller version of other recent releases in the Yesu lineup. They all have the big button with surrounding buttons. They all have that aggressive look with the way the buttons are angular and the different faces on them. The colors look similar. What I find interesting comes from comparing the 500 to the 400. Look at this clip where we see the 400's interface in action. Look at the control paradigm where we see the interface navigation happening on screen. And now compare that to what we can see in the 500 footage where much of the interface control happens with the dials. Here we see the touch in action while the radio is in VFO mode. See a waterfall display as it's done in the FTM line you can see how a frequency with activity can be selected. It's a pretty nice improvement over the 200, for example, where you need to learn how to push the select dial if you need to adjust a long ways from where the radio is currently tuned. So if you do a second push, it allows you to move more quickly through the range. With the 500, we're not nearly as reliant on touchscreen to navigate the controls. And I find that pretty interesting because in modern times, you know, we're used to cell phones where the majority of what you do with it is all touchscreen. Recently, I rented a Ford Edge and besides just radio controls, much of the climate control systems were controlled with touch on the screen. And the difficulty is knowing when you're touching the right place on the screen. You actually have to look. You don't have a sense that you have a hold of a switch or a dial that will adjust a fan speed or something like that. I like this paradigm shift, but it seems like a bold move by Yesu to move away from the touch interface that we saw in the 400 and go with a more tactile control scheme. I like it because you can feel without looking. You can feel that you have a hold of a dial and you can feel that it moves and you kind of get a sense of what's happening with the radio. You don't actually have to look to see how you've changed something with the interface. And in my opinion, that is the lens with which we must look at the operating features. Here we see the main menu in action and you might be dismayed by all the scrolling to get through the options available. The 200 menu is very much like this. And at first I found that daunting. Then I realized with the mic, you can move through the sections of the menu by pushing the up and down buttons, which you find at the top of the mic. On the 500, I'm seeing two menu levels, the quick menu and the main menu with all the controls. Here we can see the quick menu being customized and we see in the manual a bunch of the options that you can add or subtract from the quick menu. New to the flagship is the PMG feature, which gives you visual monitoring capabilities for up to five frequencies. You don't just have to monitor by listening. The FTM 200 has this feature and it's one of my favorites. We've already seen that the FTM 500 has a touchscreen. Here we see it in action again, where a frequency with activity can be tuned with a touch. Looks pretty cool. And here we see the big button multifunctionality we know that the big button allows you to tune the VFO, but it looks like if you push the big frequency adjustment knob, you move from the point adjustment to the major frequency adjustment. 
and then a push brings you back. So there's a rundown with what we see in the operation of the radio with the video that's been released and my take on it. Uh, I think this is, looks like a bold release by Yesu. It does fit the paradigm that I've seen from them uh, in the last few years and it's going to be interesting to see how this is received. It feels like the release is right around the corner and we'll finally get a chance to go hands-on with this new radio. Until then, it's been fun to think about what Yesu is doing with the design. Yes, this is speculative thinking, and I hope you've enjoyed revisiting the topic. As always, if you found this interesting and informative, leave me a like, and I hope you'll come back for a future video. Until next time.